It is a deal that has sparked heated debate in and outside of government circles. The proposal by Adani Airport Holdings to lease the JKIA for 30 years has drawn criticism from various quarters, including lawmakers who are questioning the transparency and details of the agreement. It's okay. It will determine your judgment. The proposed deal involves a request by Adani to develop an airport city near the JKIA grounds that will provide recreational and commercial services. According to Adani, such a development will enhance JKIA's reputation and offer services to both local and international travelers. On Friday, Transport Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirchir appeared before the Senate Roads and Transport Committee to clarify the government's position on the matter. State whether the government plans to avail free land to the company known as Adani Commercial Limited to build a city-side development on public land which may lead to land disputes in areas surrounding JKIA. Honorable Chairman, the government is not offering any free land to Adani Airports Holding in the proposal. Adani included in its proposal a request for 30 acres of land at JKIA for real estate and commercial development. That's what we are calling the city side. This request has been excluded in the pending concession agreement, but will be handled separately under the KAA policy on concession and lease, leases, like any other commercial operation, including approval by the head of public service, which is the current policy on uh, leasing out government property. Uh, refer. However, questions have arisen over whether the government has agreed to this and why Adani was chosen for the project without competitive bidding. Senators pressed Chirchi to explain the tendering process and whether the agreement had moved forward. Why Adani? Why not the Kenyan government? Like we did indicate with PPP Act, it basically seeks to help economy on mega projects where the government may not be able to develop. Lastly, Chair, I want to know if... Uh, there are any tax exemptions that uh, Adani have requested for? Uh, which taxes and for how long? They are proposing to be exempt, if at all. Yes, in their proposal, they had indicated that they would want some tax holidays, but the position we've taken is that in the event of such an application, let it go through the due process. So no, they have never been accepted on that. We've now migrated it to the new process. I, I wish you would use the language of the CS. Is that a deal breaker or not? We never made it as a deal breaker. We migrated it, we ring fence it to the due process. So it is up to the government. Chirchir confirmed that the deal with Adani has not yet reached the contracting stage. The Kenya Airports Authority is still reviewing the company's proposal and no binding agreement has been signed. There is no common position on this matter. So, Wazir, is it in order as you walk out of this place to cancel and call off this uh, fraud by Adani Group? That is on meetings that took place in Dubai where this deal was being discussed. Mr. Jaesh Saini was sitting in that meeting with individuals from the Kenyan government, and I will state here that the person who met Mr. Jaesh Saini in Dubai was Honorable Mulkamen when he was the minister in the position you are in. I am not aware. I Without know. having evidence that I can prove, but I think it's important that I make the statement that in that meeting that money exchanged hands. And, Chair, later on, I believe as we continue, these details should be presented to this House. It is a deal that has been termed as fraudulent, with the Senate calling on the Ministry to cancel the deal for the nation's interest. Agreed that all members... Brian Amuaike, 24.